Yo, good morning, everybody. We've just checked out of our Airbnb where we have spent three glorious days here in Akaroa. But today we are headed over to Timaru. It's going to take us about three hours to get there from here. Yeah, once we arrive, we'll see how we feel, but most likely we'll be having a wander around for some food. So let's go. A bit of a drive ahead of us. Sure is. <laughs> see you there. later and we finally arrived here in Timaru. We were mulling over what we were craving to eat and ended up with Indian food. So we found this Punjab Indian Tandoori restaurant and we've got an hour before they close, so quite lucky. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some butter chicken. Me too. After sitting in a car driving here for about three hours just thinking about butter chicken. <laughs> I know that this is gonna really hit the sweet spot. We've got here some paneer naan as well, and I'm gonna grab some of that and try it first. Oh, look at the inside of that. Mm. The naan is so soft. Textures are brilliant, especially the paneer, which is a type of cheese that's inside. Mm. Have a look at that. Let's try to get a closer shot. Ooh. Just the hint of saltiness. That is going to go excellent with the curry. Now I have gone for the hot version of the butter chicken, so I, I hope that I can handle this heat. <laughs> but let's grab some of the rice, mix it in with the chicken. Oh man, that looks like such a good mouthful. Seems like a winner. <laughs> oh man, beautiful. The acidity from the tomatoes and that butter chicken is definitely what I get the first hint of. And then uncovering that layer, you get the creaminess, but then the spicy notes. Oh, and it's all wrapped up with the basmati rice, add that texture. Three hour wait for that butter chicken, well worth it. <laughs> we also got some plain naan too. And I got the chicken tikka masala. Just grabbing one of the little chicken pieces in there. Ooh, it's like a great mouthful. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> that was such a great bite. Also very tomatoey flavor. You can taste all the herbs that's in there too. And some of the onion taste as well. Mmm. Delicious. I've been wanting something salty, so this is totally hitting the spot. Alright guys, we have arrived at our Timaru accommodation. Like normal, Yen has set herself up inside yes, first. Yes, and had a wander around already. It's really warm and cozy. I think it must have been soaking in the sun all day, which is super nice. And yeah, it's a great space. It's going to be very comfortable for both Peter and I. I'll give you a little tour. Got the lounge area here and a table for us to be able to do our work on, which is super handy. I noticed that there's a best pancake recipe posted up here on the fridge. <laughs> Got is a lot that, of microwaves. Does that mean pancakes are included in this? means that we can make our own pancakes nice. if we want to. <laughs> Looks like we've got some of the supplies for the pancake mix in there. And I saw pots and pans, so it's a really well equipped place. I bumped into Kirsten a little bit earlier too, and right outside the house is a ripe peach tree which we're allowed to pick off. This is very handy. We have a laundry here with the washing machine and dryer so we can to finally do a load of washing which is handy. That is handy. We have been waiting for a few days to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we usually plot it out in our trip to have one just a couple of days in so we can do a load. Toilet and toilet and shower is just behind the door here. Nice. Over here is our room. Very big and spacey, comfy bed by the looks of things. We are staying here for two nights. It was $215 for the both of us. And looks like it's gonna be a great location because it was very close to a countdown. And I know we're only a short drive away from Caroline Bay. 
So yeah, we're gonna go there later tonight and hopefully see some penguins. <laughs> We've made our way over to Marine Parade at Caroline Bay. It was only about a seven minute drive from our Airbnb. And we're just trying to look for where might be the best spot to go spot those penguins. <laughs> it's around about nine o'clock now and the sun is just starting to set. Apparently the best time to see the penguins is around dusk or nighttime when they just come in from the shore. So yeah, once they do come, we've got to be very quiet. There's no flash photography allowed as well. And you definitely shouldn't stop them from trying to come back home. But yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. <laughs> It'd be so cute to see them. I think what we've spotted here are some penguin homes and Yen's also found a sign which she's had a read of. Yeah, so I believe we are in the right place because it says that Marine Parade is lit by port security lights so it is a good place to watch the penguins. And we're here in January so it says January to mid-July is when they are feeding and resting and so they hang around Caroline Bay. These penguins grow to about 40 centimeters tall, making them the smallest penguins in the world. And that's why they have the name Little Penguins, also known as Korora. Timaru is a port city, it's midway between Christchurch and Dunedin so it's very conveniently located for our next destination which is uh, Twizel uh, which is going to be in between Tekapo as well as Mount Cook. So it's like a perfect spot for going in between without having a massive drive. Yen and I have gotten a bit of a double whammy tonight. We've got a beautiful sunset and sure I'm really do. hoping we get to see some of those penguins very soon. Yep. That would just be icing on the cake. We can see a couple of people have started lining up waiting for the sun to go down yeah, and for right. those penguins right. to return home. <laughs> I think it's going to be a popular thing for people to do here. Yeah. and contain my excitement. I can't believe it. It's been the ultimate evening. We were so lucky. Yen and I managed to see one penguin on the rock which really stood there for ages, showing its stuff off. And then eventually it went back under the rock which was so awesome because a lot of people out here, they didn't even manage to see any penguins at all. I gotta really thank the uh, two helpers that are out here tonight. They were telling us, hey, check out that rock over there. There's a penguin over there. And while I was walking back towards the nest area, I saw another penguin which was literally right underneath the rope. Yen was like just looking over the rope and you could see the penguin right underneath which was amazing. I don't know how you spotted that one. I know. How lucky is it for Timaru to have penguins? We also have to do a big shout out to our friend that we made through YouTube called Lana Tiare. She was the one that told us about these Timaru penguins and where to go look out for them originally. So thank you Lana. <laughs> It was really cool. Yeah. Good morning everybody. We are back in Caroline Bay because Yin spotted some interesting stairs. <laughs> And it leads to a rose garden. So we've just parked at Caroline Bay, I guess the car park here. We're just gonna have a bit of a wander around. What is she up to, bud? What are you up to? It's found an information board. So it's the Trevor Griffiths Rose Garden. 
made in honor of the renowned South Canterbury rose grower and world authority on old roses and author Trevor Griffiths. And it was his son and daughter-in-law that planted all of the 1,200 roses that's in this garden. Wow. It's, yeah, it's really nice to have a garden in the middle of any city, so this is, this is a nice little spot, I think. I admit, it is a nice viewpoint from up here. It is, right? And these stairs look like a great spot for some exercise like this guy's doing. <laughs> You're doing a run up and down. But what a lovely view. You've got the garden and then the beach out that way and a lane that has um, palm trees on both sides. It looks like a really nice walk down. It goes right over to the bay and here lies a carnival which unfortunately got cancelled this year, but it has been yes. running previously. For 111 years, I believe. This is the first time it's been cancelled, which is unfortunate. We all know why when <laughs> it's due to. made it all the way to the beachfront here and if you look out just over that way that's where we were last night when we went to go try spot the penguins about over there where all the containers are yeah so it's been a fantastic morning we're just going to keep wandering around and see what else we come across When we were down at the walkway earlier, we spotted this lighthouse, so we made our way over. And like the one in Akaroa, it's been moved from its original position and has now ended up here overlooking Caroline Bay. So it's got a great view and it's just a heritage landmark now. And that wraps up our time here in Timaru. And uh, next up, we're going to go over to Tekapo. And fingers crossed, we're actually going to be able to see the lupins as well. But yes. it's meant to be a thunderstorm tomorrow, so we'll just see how things go. See how it goes. We missed seeing the lupins last time, so we really hope we'll be able to see it this time. But if you guys enjoyed our vlog here from Timaru, we hope you all give this video a thumbs up, drop us a comment, we love hearing from you, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. See you everybody. See ya.